This Peaches. month's tutorial, we're going to cover squaring up the ball. We hear it every day watching baseball and softball games on TV or when we're out of practice. But what does it really mean? Squaring up the ball means our bat head should be 90 degrees to the incoming pitch at contact. If we do this correctly, we're going to maximize backspin and carry on the balls that we hit. With the use of the impact bat, we're going to be able to get our players in the right position. If their hands or elbows are rolling over through contact, the end of the impact bat will turn down. And if that happens, the player will get instant feedback with the balls that they hit. Next, we're going to take you through a step-by-step -step process through the Epstein Analyzer software where we'll be able to teach you how to perform this drill. The key to this drill is making sure you have a proper grip before we get started. You can see from this angle that my small knuckles are lined up. And the easiest way to get them lined up correctly in relationship to the impact bat is to have the sticker facing up and put your thumbs on the sticker side in a line. And I actually want you to keep your thumbs on that, as that's going to accentuate staying inside the ball as well as we're coming through the zone. Now the nice part about this drill is that you can do it from a static one position or a no stride, and you can also do it with your regular style and your regular stride. During the tutorial, we will go through frame by frame with both a stride and a no stride. Okay, so now we're in the Epstein Swing Analyzer software and we'll be able to draw lines and scroll through frame by frame. Uh, notice how the lighting uh, deteriorated a little bit. We had to set the shutter speed on the camera so that there was no blur between frames. And as you get better and more proficient with the software, um, you can play around with that setting if you want to see perfect contact without any blur. Okay, so now we're in the one position here, which most of you know from the products. The weight is perfectly balanced, the front heel is off the ground, and the bat is against the shoulder. I want you to take notice of the connection between the bat and the shoulder as we scroll through here to contact. It is important to note I have taken all the style out of my swing and I'm just focusing on the technique. Uh, there's no stride taking place, the hands are still right by the shoulder. Uh, this is how we teach. We want to build in the technique first and then as we get proficient with the technique then we like to build in, in uh, excuse me, style later. As we scroll through, the front heel is going to drop. Now notice the bat, the hands, and the shoulder are all going to move together as a unit. And once we reach what we call the short three position, that's when the bat head starts to come out away from the body and the arms start to push forward. Notice that impact. I'm going to make a line, which is the trajectory of the pitch, and draw a line representing the angle of the hands and the bat. And this angle right in here is going to be pretty close to 90 degrees. And if it is close to 90 degrees, then we know we squared up the pitch pretty well. Also notice the stripe on my back leg is coming down and in. It means the back knee has done its job. The front side is firmed up, keeping our weight back. And the head is up looking straight out in front instead of straight down towards the ball. Very important to keep our head still to keep our body posture. I am now going to remove the images we have here so we can see what the bat head does a few frames after contact. It is impossible to swing to the impact position that I'm showing here without going a few frames further than uh, the impact position. So if we scroll through another frame, you can see how the ball is on the bat, perfectly square here, and that impact bat is going to chase the ball off the bat. And what that means is we are extending properly. Also notice the angle of the back arm is starting to extend a little more, which is going to increase power, and our front arm is starting to straighten out as well. The key with the front elbow is that the elbow is, it's not how high the elbow is, is that it is still facing up. It's still facing the ceiling, or if we're out at a game, it's facing the sun. So notice the hands as we scroll back here. Let me re remove these lines. Notice the bottom hand, excuse me, the top hand, the palm is up. And that relationship stays the same all the way through contact. And I held it off a little bit further to accentuate that move. The key to this drill is making sure that the hands never roll over. The elbows, the front elbow stays up, the back elbow stays down. The right hand stays underneath, and most importantly, if you notice the angle of the impact bat here, 
It never turns over. It is staying square well after contact.